All of you by now uh, must be familiar that three words are used very frequently uh, at Jwala Mukhi and its programs. The three words are attitude, positive change, and leadership. So let me talk about each one of them and how each, uh, each of these words was important uh, for the impact program for us. So when we talk about attitude, um, all of us are convinced that wrong attitude is the root cause of all the social problems we have today. And if you remember the launch function, we said if there is one thing Jwala Mukhi wanted to change, it's the attitude of the children and in turn impact attitude of the larger community. Talking about attitude, I would like to give you a couple of examples uh, where these children actually made a difference. One day we were having our uh, Jwala Mukhi regular session and it was break time. Um, all of a sudden I heard uh, three students screaming, oh my god! And then they started running down the stairs. I thought someone got injured and they might be bleeding badly, so I ran behind them. As I came down the stairs, what I noticed was that these three girls were trying to fix a leaking tap. And they were tying covers around there. And uh, when the cafeteria in charge had come there, they wanted him to fix the tap immediately by tomorrow. The cafeteria in charge responded, it's only drop by drop which is dripping, and then that's okay. And then they said, it's not okay. By tomorrow, there will be a lot of water which gets wasted. Frankly, I was spellbound because this incident happened several weeks after the environmental module was over. Uh, if, if this is not enough, let me give you another example. Sometime back, you heard Monica coming in front of you and saying that she was not at all comfortable going and talking to strangers. When we received the feedback forms from the parents, uh, Monica's parents wrote to us saying that whenever Monica sees someone um, switching on their engine uh, at a traffic signal, she doesn't hesitate anymore. She goes to them and tells them, please put off your engine. <laughs> How many of us would have the courage to do it? I remember one incident when myself and Vasudha were sitting in a cab and we hesitated for a few seconds to tell the driver to switch off the ignition. <laughs> that, that's true. But then we did, uh, we did ask him to switch it off a little later, but I was, I was really happy when I heard that Monica does it without any iota of hesitation. This positive attitude combined with the skills these children developed at Jwala Mukhi uh, resulted in positive change. That's the second key word I wanted to talk about. When we heard Surabi, uh, when, when, we, when Surabi saved 3,752 minutes of pollution and traffic signals, when Akshay rescued a child and sent him to school, when Kirtan called up the Karnataka Electricity Board to cut the electricity waste stage, we know, we knew that we were making a difference and positive change was happening. And that was very, very satisfying. This positive change uh, would not have actually translated um, into a sustainable program without the third key word, uh, leadership. If attitude ignited the action and positive change was the result, leadership was the means through which it was achieved. These children could have done their assignments, their projects, uh, when they, it was assigned to them, and could have forgotten them easily immediately after it was over. They could have said, we're done with that and gone back to their normal lives. But these children are not like that. They follow all those things even till date. It has become a part and parcel of their life. And that's a big thing. Whenever they see something going wrong, they jump into action. They don't lie back like uh, the rest of the crowd, like most of us. And these children have actually inspired more people in their age group, in their schools, and, the, and in their communities to do the same. What we feel is that this positive attitude when combined with leadership becomes a brilliant combination. And when you have this combination, positive change is inevitable. So we have been talking a lot, saying that, uh, till now, saying what are the different things which have been happening, what the children's did, what has been achieved. But mind you, that today is the graduation ceremony for the impact program. So there might be a question popping up in all your heads, like what next? Um, I would like to say we have started to make a difference and we don't like to stop right now, right? This is, this is not uh, the end. This is just the beginning. So what do we plan to do next? The answer is simple. Uh, we want to take 
all these things to a, a next level. Bigger projects, bigger communities, and bigger impact. How do we do that? Uh, a clue for that has actually come uh, in the skit you just watched. We plan to start a jo one Jwalamukhi club locally here, and probably like uh, Jwalamukhi Atnagar or something. I'm feeling it should be something like Jwalamukhi Malaysia club. And uh, these children will actually lead several initiatives locally. So the new definition of leadership becomes local leadership. Whenever there are issues in your community, it's our responsibility to go ahead and solve them. So um, Jwalamukhi will facilitate all the club activities. And these children, uh, with the help of their parents and other volunteers from the community, they go ahead and start making difference every day. So uh, the difference they started making doesn't end at the impact program, but it continues into their lives, and uh, expands into the big larger community. And then uh, we, we, we were hearing numbers in the third order of magnitude, but I'm sure once uh, uh, the club starts functioning, we'll be hearing millions of pollution, million, millions of minutes of pollution saved, millions of water saved and all that. So how we do that, uh, I'll, we'll get into the nitty gritties of how the club will be functioning, what will be, what will be its structure and all that uh, in a separate meeting in January. Uh, so uh, for the time being, I just wanted to announce that we we'll have a club which will function most probably out of Malaysia. And we would require volunteers for uh, the active functioning of the club. So towards the uh, end of the session, volunteer forms will be um, distributed to you. And if any of you are interested in actually working with the club, you can kind of sign on these forms and let us know and we'll get back to you. So uh, that's all I had for uh, today. And uh, you'll, you'll know more about the club and its functioning. So.